YouTube, Chris Boga here, and I'm giving you an Orca update. I've been working on my Orcas lately, and uh, I've been finding ways to make them a lot better than they were before. And I will continue making Orcas, but first, um, I got something to show you guys right now. This is a stack of Orcas I created with my old Orcas, and I've remade them, and I'm remaking them in a whole new way. So I have three Gorge Tokens here. Um, basically, what I do is I take the Orca and put it on the token, on the real card. So you get a Gorse token. Now I'm gonna go through some other stuff. I got three absolute zeros. Uh, what I did was basically just take any random card um, and glue it on, glue Orcas on there. Get this on precisely. These are old Orcas that were not that great before. So, as you can tell, there's some things wrong here. The stars have the white background from Synchro 08. So these are not as good, but I'm going to go through these. So these will be for sale. They'll be a dollar each. Um, so you know, hit me up if you want any of these. Three absolute zeros. I have one Great Tornado. I actually have two. And one guy I can make like three of those. One Trishola. Uh, I think I have two of those left. Scrap Dragons. I have some of those. Thought Rollers. I have two Beret left for anyone who wants to play Karakuri. And these are not legal, technically. But um, you can play them, I guess, as proxies. And if you have the real cards, play them instead. If someone asks you to show, show them the, your real card, which should be nearby you or in your deck box. Librarian, Formula Synchron, this look pretty cool. Chaos Summary, Utopia Ray, this is in Japanese, and name is hard to read, but yeah. I'm um, gonna go through this Triple Hyperion, Double Christia, Caius, Five Headed, Triple Red Eyes, Darkness Metal. Um, for my own purposes, I'm gonna probably use these Double JD, Lumina, Triple Lila. Triple Shining, um, I don't know why it's not in front, and Triple Tour Guide, uh, those seem to be fairly hot, but, just because people want Tour Guide proxies, but, update on how I made Orica's better, take the camera out of this tripod here, so, here is my Evelzar Lagia, um, many things that are better, one, you can see that there's no outline in the stars, Lagia, pretty cool, art's pretty awesome and the text is very readable oh sorry you can see the fix um text is very readable now it's very readable compared to these the text on these were not so much readable they were readable enough but you'd have to focus these are very readable next i have a grapha um also these names are now fainted slightly and you see it stars perfectly fine now and the text is readable. Yeah, pretty solid. I'm actually making these orcas a lot better. Red Dragon Arch Fiend, you see it. Uh, same thing, stars, name faded, and it's readable. Stars Dragon, readable text. Um, this is probably my favorite. It's because I love Stardust. <clears throat> but yeah. And Wind Up Magician, this is pretty hot. Um, people like this a lot, but Wind Up Magician, stars are there text and those are those orcas i've made another set of orcas that are pretty cool um they are the fortune lady orcas and what's awesome about them i'm working on them still but there's fortune lady dark awesome what's cool is that you it starts as a level five but it has question mark levels to so go up to 12 since fortune ladies gain levels text is still readable i'll be printing these soon i need orders that's earth that's fire Fortune Future, Intuition. There's Light. Um, starts as a level 1. Can, get, can go up to level 12. And this Light has um, Below it, all the cards that can let its effect go off. Depot Dimensional Matter Transporter, Dimension Thingy, Dimension Hole, Compulsory, Torrential Tribute, and for Future Visions right under the butt cheeks. And yeah, those are pretty disgusting. Yeah, see, there's um, a lot of things wrong with this, obviously. But some people like it. Um, chicks, what do you do? Chicks and Yu-Gi-Oh. Also, I'm still working on the Orikalko stuff. Um, there, I'm remaking the Seal of Orikalko, so making them better. So, first layer is actually correct, and everything's pretty readable. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, seventh layer. Telikos, Aristoros, Chosen Destiny, Dexia, and I'm making these all look secret rare, as you can tell. Um... It looks like it's a secret rare, sort of, in a way. Looks like secret. 
looks like a secret Gigas. Secret Cubitora. That definitely looks secret. Um, but Shunaros. And I'm still working on Rikaka stuff. And I have another project coming up. Uh, if you guys remember in Yu-Gi-Oh! 5Ds, there was a treasure deck with the Ashoka Pillar. Oh, snap. Uh, focus the scammer. You shook a pillar, the Caldera Stone, or the Caldera Stone, Caldera Stone, and the Crystal Skull. So I'm gonna be working on that deck, and uh, Pure Ice Map, Temple Tumble, and Triangle O. Yeah, so that's my challenge I'm gonna be working on, and I lost like 10 subs for uh, a video. Oh, I gained a couple subs back, but I lost a bunch of subs from the CAD video I uploaded. Sorry about that. Apparently. Only some people thought it was funny. Others were like, wow, that's animal abuse. But uh, whatever. Um, so yeah, Orcos are coming up. And my other Orcos, the good ones I showed you, are going to be two each right now. And if you want, you could either tell me if you want me to glue them on a card with spray adhesive or stick glue. It doesn't matter. I could do either. Also, I could do the Gorse tokens. I could do Dandy tokens, Fluff tokens, Doppel tokens. A lot of cool things. So, yeah, Orc update. Simply put, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. And yeah, peace out, YouTube.